Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Jen. What? My name is Salma Salman. I'm an artist and activist born and raised in Bosnia. Currently, I live between New York City and Bihać, my hometown. I use many mediums to make art. I use art mostly as a tool because I am not uh, interested in saying only statements. I'm mostly interested in how can I change with my art and bring new possibilities. Uh, I'm also a founder of the project Get a Hack to School, whose aim is to support Roma girls in my hometown, in my village. Currently, I have 12 Roma girls who are getting full scholarship and 45 children who are getting daily lunch. The aim of this foundation is to secure the future of Roma girls who are mostly marginalized and excluded from the society. I've been working with uh, many topics and concepts in my art. Um, some of them are um, questioning the identity, my Roma identity, um, and trying and destroying the stereotypes and discrimination against Roma people. The concepts which I use in my work uh, and my ontology is uh, superpositional intersectionalism, virtual materialism, and out of feminism. Uh, I'm very happy that I'm part of the Evervision project. Um, I love the concept and the strategy because it is not the project which is aimed to be only for one year. It has the continuation, which means that um, the artists and the team curators are going to become a family, friends and colleagues. Um, I also like that um, the project is multidisciplinary, it's about um, race, gender, identity, it's about um, togetherness, it's about uh, questioning but also proposing new future. The crisis of COVID-19 actually um, changed a lot of stuff for me and for this project particularly, but I think um, that it is important to stay positive and to do and to finish the stuff which we always wanted to do for example i'm really happy because i had time to work on the project which i really uh, worked for so long time i never had time to at home because of the work but this time somehow i used this time brought by the virus you know and by all this crisis and i just realized why would i wait for borders to open when i can just use this time and do the project so this is how i basically finished the work of pink room of her own so i started this project in 2017 when i was talking with my mom about the room which she always wanted to have when she was a child since she was married into a uh, arranged marriage child marriage which i don't perceive as a roma tradition because it has the rooted history um, my mom was married at age 12 and then she became a mother at age 13 so she was she had these two roles like mother and um, wife she never had the opportunity to become herself and also to have her own um, privacy freedom and authority where she can feel this is my territory so talking with her like bringing her into her own into her own childhood I was sketching the room like she was telling me like what kind of stuff she really wanted to have in her room so I would draw it and then um, I recorded this work with virtual reality camera which I showed to her and then uh, later I printed a 3D model of the room which I actually exhibited as a artifact um, and finally this year just a few days ago we had the opening of the room I managed to make this room. Um, it's not only about that her dream came true, it's not only about that she finally got her room, it's about giving to a woman whose rights were forbidden for so many years. You give to someone the authority to do whatever she wants with that room, to feel the, um, the freedom. 
the freedom uh, of her own, a pink room of her own.